There's obviously obvious candidates. I think a lot of those make sense. Puck gonna be what Archon gets. Okay, so they have a bad time. They're actually doing a bit of damage to the talk in the top lane. They have dust. Do they, am I seeing this right? There are no sentries. Oh, okay. Look at HFN taking a lot of damage here. Do they have it though? As we talked about two spirit clans, it looks like he might get no. The ultimate miss coming out. The Phoenix still dies first. Invoker gonna get the return kill, but Phoenix. Interruption. Okay, so this this time it's different. Talking about level two, they're actually giving it a go onto the death prophet, but way too standing right there. Suddenly has no mana. There's gonna be spirit siphons coming out on two of them. The bird comes in, throws out some of those walls, and downs the top. No, first they lose the rubik. They got the beam going. It does so much damage, and way too now taking a lot of damage in return. No uphill miss for him. He will be going down. I need a DD rune plane. Now, Mu, sensing the opportunity, does go up there to farm a little bit, but he's gonna get lifted here, and Juice coming on in, has the silence, has the slow. Mu is trying to run towards him to get rid of some of that damage, but it's not gonna work out. And... Yeah, as you said, two smoked up, one in that Ghost Walk Gypsy, probably gonna throw out a telekinesis. Oh my goodness, he manages to get the perfect telekinesis coming out. They're throwing out the fire sphere, but now a tornado, and the sunray is at the ready along with the chronosphere. They are gonna <laughs> slaughter them here, and HFN just standing there having to take the rest of it, and they are down, the only survivors to talk. What a. <laughs> Yeah, Drow, Drow had a bit of a go. Ken and Orcon salvage this. There's only a tornado and EMP coming out as well. Throwing out the fire through some telekinesis. He's just dead. I uh, like this is just. Here. They are. Okay, gonna get the hex out. Maybe this will be the setup for the primal bro. Is there any sort of TP support? It looks like Gossip not gonna have anything to save out. Oh, but yeah. there is a two man chrono sphere. There's no more damage follow up though. Juice again gonna manage to silence them all and push them away. They're getting the spirit siphon off onto Frempo, but that does look like it's saving Juice's life. And with Drow on out of there, can they do something here with the rest of girls? They're throwing out the fire spirits. One not able to connect, but now they've got the slow coming out. They do manage to finger down the faces void on the back line. They're not Gypsy trying to work on this, the ball being slowed down, but there it is! The Sunray doing so much damage, there is going to be the blown up Drow in the back line by Ritsu, but that's about it. Our map, no TPs required. <laughs> they just got to show up to this fight. And I think WWE is chasing oh, people that okay. death moment. Yeah, Talk also, burning. he may... No, with the Tornado, not going to be getting out of this one. <laughs> this is a 5-0 and invoker though, especially off that start, where I mean, still, you can see this... Uh, Death Prophet had so many- Oh yeah, the talk. <laughs> I mean, this is cute Invis here. Oh, they're gonna drop a sentry. They got the Hex out onto him. Oh, and he gets cracked up in time. There's gonna be the finger and the quick easy pick on the Invoker. Big kill streak going the way of H- been playing in the actual engagements and like Tornado and EMP. Like, Ritz is Oh, okay, there's gonna be a Chrono Speed. It only manages to hit on two though. And unfortunately, the Roche is still not down yet. There's gonna be an end on the high ground. Who gets stun up? Death Prophet manages to get that Aegis. The egg still hasn't exploded yet. They've lost Faceless Void. And now the Sunray, kind of the only thing coming out to battle. Back them up, Juice thinking about going in, but Primal Girl goes out on her, tracked up for all to see, and the Fiery Spirits are gonna be enough to save their lives. EMP Tornado does end up killing off the Bounty Hunter, and it looks like HFN may fall here, of course, that'll just be Aegis, but at the same time, Phoenix dies to the Morphling. She's gonna TP up top. But it's just not quite there, or like, you know, what was game I was, I was thinking of the, it, like, is it the Drain cl Cleaner, WWD? Oh, okay, we're gonna have a nice little stun there, and a track, and goodbye to Invoca. He's going down. Not and suddenly Gossip, they are forced to deal with this. Or they may just end up losing Rack's tower already almost down. There is no glyph on the side of Gossip. There's gonna be the stun coming out onto Gypsy. They pop the Lincoln, so they just gonna pick up Ritsu here. A huge overextension coming out of him. Here we go. Are we gonna see a Chronos be a nope? That exorcism not up for 25 seconds. If they've been paying attention, Gossip should know this. Oh, okay, they're just gonna go for the Chronos via onto HFN. They don't have the damage. Girls not able to get close enough and WD WWG not doing anything yet. There it is. The primal roll going out on invoke and he'll be brought down before he drops any spells. They're still trying to kill the HFN. They'll get that kill. Egg dropped on the back line. It's gonna maybe stop them from coming on over, but it doesn't matter. They've already lost the drown. They're gonna lose Frempo soon. And that stun, it looks like it's just gonna Dyer's delay things. Will they be able to get on out? Moo chasing Gypsy in a lot of trouble. He is gonna he actually stopped that before they did. Stop his TP, walk him to walk away, but this is a dead Rubik if I've ever seen one. Oh no, and they lose a gem. Fuck it, that one's gonna be going up onto the Morphling I just seen again, although, well, they put it on DP, lost them. They <laughs> put it on whoever. Yeah, it looks like. Okay, they're just gonna give it over to DP again. That is next actually on him. To get that kill. 
And with that, Lost Outer Tower pushed in just tier threes and actually nothing else. Oh, okay. Are we going in? There's gonna be two of them on Ice Chronos people. Where is the damage coming in? Actually, the ball's still pounding away. There's gonna be a shotgun out onto one. The finger onto Frembo and he's blown up, brought down. Ugh. Am I dying less? You die a lot in your games. And I'm like, thanks, mate. But yeah, they're going in. They're maybe gonna get themselves a pick up on the Phoenix. No, she's gonna jump on through. Escalade does come out. Do they have the kill up there? Oh, they do manage to pick up the Phoenix. So no egg. There could be buybacks coming out here, but Tornado's gonna hit on two. EMP should drain some mana. They've got the slow, but no, unable to drain the mana from Ritsu and the Yules saving HFN. No one. And with that, I mean, Archon able to disengage at their leisure. Gypsy going in, gonna have the lift on to Ritsu. He's immediately walking through. There goes the shotgun, bringing down the Rubik. And it's just not feeling like there's much that Gossip can do here. There's gonna be another Hex going out onto WWD. They don't have Chronosphere for 23 seconds. Vampire Goku needs to pop the Egg Omega down here, but it looks like they have a lot of them in the base. And that Egg is taking heavy damage. It's gonna fall. They still don't have Chronosphere. What can Deuce and the... Well, Deuce can die. That's lo looking what, like what he can do. And with that, they call the GG. Yeah, those fights are just so hard if Rambo doesn't have Chrono. <laughs> Had a set up or anything. You saw the Drown Ranger, right? Like, she's like, okay, being she's ready to go, but there's nothing left to help you control them. You're throwing out these alacrities, you're throwing out um, your EMPs and tornadoes, obviously, but without, like, an Aghanim Scepter, which is understandable that you don't really want to go with that item because you're kind of this, like, Gloss Wax, doesn't work quite as well, there's not the same synergy. They just don't have anything left in the tank to try and hold them all in place. So Drow just can't find that right angle, can't allow herself to just go off on somebody and take them down and. A nice start, 